Rama, Lakshmana and Sita started living in a hut in the forest Panchavati on the Godavari. One day, Surpanaka, the sister of the demon king Ravana, came in the guise of a lovely woman and told Rama, marry me. As Rama refused, she revealed her horrible form and tried to eat Sita up. Lakshmana cut off her nose and ears. Surpanaka ran away crying and exhorted her companions, Khar and Dasha. See my disgrace, and this, although you live. Khar and Dasha attacked Rama and Lakshmana with full force. Rama fought fiercely and killed them. Baffled thus, Surpanaka went to Ravana at Lanka and wept out her story. Ravana heard her and said, Weep not, steps will be taken soon. To steal away Sita, Ravana went to Panchavati with Maricha, a wizard Rakshesha, be a golden deer and roam before Sita he ordered. Maricha started grazing as a golden deer in front of Sita's hut. Catch it for me, dear, said Sita. Rama took up his bow and arrow. Maricha lured Rama away to a great distance. Rama then shot him down. While dying, Maricha shouted in Rama's voice, Save me, Lakshmana. Hearing that Sita could not contain herself, Rama is in danger. Please go quickly, said she to Lakshmana. Lakshmana drew a line around the hut and said, I will, as you want me to, though there can be no danger for Rama. But you will be alone. Do not go beyond this limit. The moment Lakshmana left, Ravana came as an ascetic praying for arms. While giving arms, Sita stepped outside the line by mistake. At once, Ravana assumed his old self, placed Sita on his chariot and started for Lanka. Sita cried out. Hearing her cries, the old bird Jatayu came to Sita's help, but Ravana cut down its wings and fled with Sita. The chariot flew above the mountain Rishya Mukha, where sat with his followers Sugreva the brother of the king of monkeys, Bali. Sita threw down her ornaments, telling them to inform Rama. There, in the forest, when returning from the false deer hunt, Rama met Lakshmana and was afraid for Sita. Running to the hut, the two brothers found it empty. Rama shouted for Sita many a time, but got no response. Frantically, they searched one forest after another. At last, they got news from the wounded Jatayu and went towards the Rishya Mukha.